Hi, this is Broondog. I wanted to show off a little project that we built. This is a keg or fermenter or bucket washer that is fully automated running brew control. It's built using some fairly standard components, not too terribly expensive to build, and is based upon our Unishield feather model. The main cleaning chamber is a stainless steel kettle. Inside is a pump, heating element, float switch, and temperature probe. The pump pushes rinse or cleaning water through a clean in place spray ball. The whole system is assembled on an extruded T-slotted aluminum frame and we have wheels mounted to the bottom for portability. At the bottom of the pot are two valves, one for inlet water and one for dumping. And at the rear is the control enclosure. Here's a look inside the control box. On the left is the AC power terminal strip. To the right of that are two relays. The larger cube relay is for the heating element. The smaller green one is for the pump. There's a 12 volt DC power supply, a DC bus terminal strip, and then the feather Unishield. This is a Wi-Fi model as you can see. We have the Wi-Fi antenna mounted inside the plastic enclosure. One of the nice things about the Unishield is you wire directly from the shield to the devices you want to power. For example, in this circumstance, we wire directly to the relays and the Unishield provides the appropriate power to drive those relays. This makes wiring really simple and debugging very easy. Here's a look at the workspace. As you can see, we have a fairly simple layout, but it has controls for the heater, the pump, the valves, indicator for the float. There's an alarm and a countdown timer, a graph of the temperature over time, and the current temperature. And as expected, the controls work. so the system can be manually overridden if needed. For this test, we put a bucket on the washer, and now we'll go ahead and start the script. First thing it will do is fill the kettle with water. And when it gets to the appropriate level, the float switch will indicate that the cycle can begin. Automation will run through a sequence of steps. In this first step, the vessel was filled and a rinse cycle begins. After a few minutes, this rinse water will be dumped. The next step in the sequence is heating. And in this step, the pot is filled, the heater is turned on, and the pump is occasionally cycled. This is done to keep the cleaning vessel wet and to ensure uniform heated water temperature throughout. Now that the temperature has been reached, an alarm is issued, indicating it's time to add a cleaning solution like PBW.
Now the heated cleaning solution will run for a period of time and then the next sequence of steps will take place which involve filling, rinsing, and dumping the cleaning solution. That will occur a few times and the cycle is complete. Here is the end of the cleaning cycle and as I mentioned the next sequence will start which involves dumping, filling, rinsing, and dumping again a number of times. So that's a look at this brew control automated fermenter and keg cleaner. I hope you enjoyed the video.